So today I'm going to talk about a tool that you might find helpful while working on your group project, and it's uh, Wix.com. And Wix is actually a full service kind of digital marketing platform. Uh, you can use it to create a website. Uh, you can use it to create um, a email marketing campaign. You can do invoices. You can do domains. You can do blogs. A lot of things through Wix. Uh, but what I'm going to show you today is how to create a website on Wix. Uh, and uh, you know. For a lot of small and medium businesses, Wix will actually serve all their needs, right? Don't necessarily want to use it for a larger business, but even for a larger business, you might see using Wix to prototype websites, to kind of spec them out ahead of time. And for your digital marketing plan, it might be a good way to quickly create some creative that you might use for your plan, right? Um, <clears throat> so I've already logged into my Wix site, um, as you can see here. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do whenever I wanna create a new site is go up to this upper left corner and create a new site, right? So kind of ask me what kind of site I wanna create, you know, restaurants, food, and what this is gonna do is kind of choose certain templates and certain factors I want. So say I wanna create a business site, and you can either go through the old Wix editor, which will, I'll, you know, you have to manually do everything, or you can do what they call their new artificial design intelligence, which tries to help guide you in how it's creating and kind of pre-populate some of the pages, right? So I can click the start with Wix ADI. The editor you're gonna to get to eventually anyways, but um, it's first thing it's gonna ask is what kind of business I'm creating. So let's say I'm creating a digital marketing agency, right? And I can click next. And then it's going to ask me, does your website need anything like sell online, take bookings, appointments, get subscribers, create a blog? Let's say I want to have a blog and I want to take bookings. It's going to tell kind of some basic features to add in right off the bat. Um, and then it's going to ask me what the name of my business and website is. And so just checking something. So let's call it, uh, you know, the Jenkins Digital Marketing. Back in next. And I can, it will ask me where my business is located, and it kind of pre-populates, so I can add in all that stuff. Uh, and now it's gonna try and find out stuff about me from the web, um, and because this business doesn't actually exist, it's not gonna find anything. If your business did, it might find something. Um, and so then I can skip ahead, and I can enter in additional content, like Jenkins at ncsu.edu for my email, got my address, I can add Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. I can type in a phone number, right? Uh, and so forth. And it's gonna use all this to kind of, I can add a logo in right off the bat. Um, and it's gonna use all this to kind of create the website, right? So it's gonna put all this together. And while it's doing that, it's essentially trying to fill it out, right? So let's hit start. So one of the first questions it's gonna ask me is do I want a particular design aesthetic, right? Uh, let's say we're going to go with Elliot, right? So continue. And it's going to start creating its page. Um, let's see if we click through enough. And uh, you'll notice it kind of shows you clicking on the purple buttons and everything like that. This is essentially the old Wix editor that exists and the one that you can still access. And it's just the ADI, the artificial design intelligence. It's just basically adding in content automatically uh, to that page to give me something to base my to the work from, right? And as it goes along adding this in, once it's done, you can, you can modify all this and uh, kind of work with it yourself. And I'll show you how to do it as it, it finishes everything up here. So it's adding in the connect, uh, contact information, it's adding in the blog information, right? It's putting all that in there in kind of default way. Now it's adding these all in as a section to one big page, and I'll show you how to add additional pages in the future. So once uh, this is all done, um, you can actually go through, you can see what it looks like, and it can actually take you on a little bit of a tutorial if you just keep clicking on this play button. So first thing it has you do is kind of preview the site, so you can click on the preview button, and this is what it's going to actually look like to someone who comes directly to the website without going through the editor, right? Um, and you know, it'll, it says the site was created free using Wix, create a Wix site. If you pay for it, you can get rid of all these buttons so you can actually create a pretty professional, professional looking website. Now, let's click that away. Uh, but I mean, the nice thing to realize, right, is that already I have 90% of a website, right? Like I've got all the content up, some of it's not quite right. Like since our founding in 2023, 2023 hasn't happened yet. 
right? But I, I'm very close to having a working website with a very few clicks, right? Um, so then I could do something like change the website design. Um, so, um, you know, I can go in here and let's say I decide, well, elegant's a little too formal. I want something a little more fun and playful, right? So I can go down to like playground. Sounds like that's fun and playful, right? These are kind of like filters in Instagram or something like that. They kind of just present like an overall template and stuff like that to you. Uh, to kind of update your website. Now this uses good content management system guidelines, right? So the text is completely separate from the colors, right? And as a result, um, it doesn't have to change everything every time, right? So that one, you know, maybe a little too playful. Um, so I could try it again real quick um, and pull another one up. Um, let's see, like Mason, like that one looks nice, right? Um, so I can try another design and template up. Um, so this kind of gives you some example of how you can play around with Wix uh, to actually get a design uh, that you like. Right. Now let's go ahead and keep that one, that was pretty good. We can change the website colors, right, um, and we can do this uh, very specifically, right. So for instance, we can uh, go into the customized design underneath the template. We can look at, they have some recommended ones, but I could also actually go into um, I could also go into the advanced editing button, which it won't let me do during the tutorial, but I can go in there and actually modify the colors to exactly match colors I have, right? So if I have specific colors I could, that I really want for my website, like exact hexadecimal references to colors, I can match them perfectly. You can also change the fonts, I'll skip that for now. I can have animation, right now the website is just gonna kind of scroll, right? But I could add animation so that sections pop up or pop over, right, instead. I recommend not doing this too much. I've seen way too many examples where people animate every single page and it's great for the first couple of times. You're like, oh, that's kind of cool. But then after that, it becomes just annoying, the animation. So it's usually not useful to have a lot of heavy animation. I can change individual sections. That's what these different parts of the page are called. And I can also edit the section content. And let me talk a little bit about that. So I edit the section content. I just need to choose a section. Let's say like here's the, the different uh, parts for the different aspects of my company, right? Um, and so I can click edit and it, you know, there's the different lists within the thing. So uh, right now there's marketing, design and branding. So I can click on design and then it shows me the actual image, right? And it just says we do it right, you know, like, and I could add a description that's a little bit more in depth, right? As it continues to load up, shouldn't take too long, hopefully, right? It has kind of a preset description. I could say, we do the best design in the triangle, right? Or something like that. And then I can um, go ahead and click away. Once I click away, it's gonna automatically save, right? And now if you um, close this out for a second, if you scroll down, you can see that I have, we do the best design in the triangle, right? So it's about as close as you can get to like a full WYSIWYG um, website editor where it's gonna automatically allow you to update and kind of create the content. Now there's one last thing I wanna show you in the creation section. Besides adding, a, a, besides editing the section content, I can actually add a brand new section, right? So I can add a section that wasn't there before. Uh, so for instance, I can add like a a clients section for my for my my current clients right and just add it right in it's going to show you where it's going to add the section if you ever decide you want to modify the section afterwards right um, you can click on the section you want and it'll bring up a little diagram and I can move that section up and down in the overall page right um, Besides adding a section, I can also add a whole new page. And I, it'll give me some default options. So say I have like an FAQ I wanna add. I can add an FAQ page. Um, and I can fill in the content for the questions and the answers, right? Um, and yeah, and so this all now is like this most of the, what you need in order to prototype the page for your group project. 
If I do preview, you'll notice now that there is the home page, the book online page, which I asked for, the blog page, and the FAQ page are automatically already there, right? And all the content is there as well, and it looks really nice, right? Um, oh, I didn't need to hit stay. Leave, I meant to close this out. Okay, go back to that in a minute. Um, couple of quick questions. So obviously, you know, right now I need to publish it, right? And so I can publish the website. And initially it's going to give it billrand.wixsite.com slash Jenkins, but I could also connect a customized domain. Um, so if I owned a domain like JenkinsDigitalMarketing.com, I can connect that. Uh, many of these are going to cost additional money, right? Like it's going to, you're going to actually have to pay Wix in order to get access to some of these features. Uh, but now, for instance, I can go to billrand.wixsite.com slash uh, Jenkins. And, and the website's already publicly available. So this is a great way, like if you want to build something for your group project and you want to share it with me or with your company that you're working with, this would be a great way to kind of demo it. And if you're worried about like people finding the website and getting confused with the official website, just change the name of the website, right? Change the company. Um, and uh, that kind of gives you a way to kind of create an example of what the company might look like without actually doing it. So obviously, as I mentioned, you could also connect a domain and that costs money. And there's one last thing you can do, which is that I can actually go in uh, to the site settings and I can connect Google Analytics. And how do I do that? Well, if I go over to Google Analytics, and I have my account that's been created, right? Um, and I wanna create a new account, I need to go down to admin, account, create new account. You know, I can call it Jenkins, Jenkins Digital Marketing, uh, billrand.wixsite.com slash Jenkins. And then I can get a tracking ID. And what I'm, you know, the standard thing is that I would cut and paste this code into my website. Well, here I can access the code directly, but I can access the tracking ID. And then if I go over to, um, Wix, and I click on here, I can actually paste that tracking ID right into a field. Now it won't let me do it for free, I actually have to pay them some money. So you could go in and pay them the amount that it needs to do that. So then you'd have Google Analytics for, for, for you know, basically running on your Wix site to an example. So that's a quick introduction to Wix that I hope you might find useful for prototyping some of your content. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, that's it for now.